Hey, uh, welcome back to Shit Happens Podcast. My name's Kayla. I'm the creator of this podcast. And I just kind of wanted to just do a quick little podcast before I go to work about fear. So let me just get into it. Basically, I've been fearing to do this podcast by myself for a long time. Because I, my plan was to always just have a guest with me. So, because I thought I wasn't interesting enough to just talk alone by myself. But I've just been seeing a lot of shit and like signs and stuff. That's telling me to like, girl, you need to just do it by yourself. Like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain fear, man. We let it stop us from doing a lot of shit that we want to do. Like the other day. Not even the other day, but a couple, not even a couple weeks ago, literally earlier this week, I got my tongue pierced. That shit hurt like fuck. And the thing is, I wasn't even scared to go do it before because when I said, when I saw it the day before I got it pierced was the, when this was when I first saw it and I was like, okay, I kind of want it. It looks nice. And so I didn't even think twice about it. I just went and did it the next day. And I didn't get scared until I was actually in the chair and she was had the needle in her hand and was about to put it through my tongue. And it hurt so bad, but I don't regret it because I really love it now. But it hurts to talk sometimes, but it's in the process of healing right now. But like I'm saying, back to fear, I didn't really have any fear about it because I just went and did it. Well, I had fear about it, of course, because, like, a fucking needle through your fucking tongue. But I didn't let that fear stop me from doing what I wanted to do. And that's basically what I'm trying to say. You can't let fear stop you from doing what you want to do. Like, you can achieve so much stuff, and sometimes you're going to have to take risks, and you're you're going to fail multiple times, probably. Like, but that's just trial and error to know how to get better and how to succeed and perfect your art, your craft, whatever you're interested in or whatever you want to do. But you can't just let the fear and you can't let, you can't get negative thoughts and you can't doubt yourself. You got to just, it's hard. That's why you got to have people around you to support you and have a good positive energy around you. That's why it's always good to have good energies around you because sometimes we get negative so that's why we have people around us with positive energy to get us back up to positive energy, if that makes sense. <laughs> I basically just forgot what I was saying. But you guys get my point. I hope you do at least. I hope I don't sound crazy. But I gotta really think, because I was saying something really important. I have such bad memory. I need to start writing shit down. I'm gonna get better at this, because I need to start writing shit down. This is so dysfunctional, but this is just me. But I got to get better at this because this is a hot fucking mess. <laughs> what was I saying? Like, sometimes we get negative. You got to boost yourself back up. Yeah, you can't let, like, you can't let those trial and errors stop you from doing what you want to do. If you really love something, of course, like, you just got to keep going. I mean, no matter how long it takes, I guess. And it doesn't even have to be one thing. Like, you can do multiple. You can put your passion into multiple things. You don't have to just set your passion on one thing. I hate how people say, like, oh, like, no. You can do multiple things. Like, that's how you make money, too. Shit. Like, putting putting your time into, like, just your different stuff that interests you. Like, your different interests, things you like. Literally, anything you like. Think of something creative and make money off of it. And just, like, take the time and put some work and hard work into it. And shit, you never know what could happen. One of them shit's gonna fucking blow up and you're gonna be rich. I just wanted to come on here and talk about this whole bonnet situation going on. So, I don't know if you guys have heard, but on social media, basically, social um society or social media is saying like women shouldn't be able to shouldn't be wearing bonnets and stuff like that in public like that's our only at home thing but i'm trying to figure out why are other people so concerned with other people's life like why do you care so much why why do you care so much what this person is wearing on their head when they go out obviously they felt comfortable enough in their own skin 
to wear that on their head and they feel like they're like I saw this okay so I was just on Instagram and I saw on the shade room this um lady from precious the lady the lady from precious Monica she was also from the um Moesha show she was saying how like People look like they don't have any pride in themselves when they wear bonnets in the airport. Like, she saw so many people in the airport with bonnets on and all of that stuff. But I'm just like, why do you care about how this person look? Like, as long as they care about how they look and they feel good about themselves, that's all that shit matters. Like, People that talk about other people are always in other people's business or concerned with what other people ha have to do, what they want to do with themselves. Like, what are you concerned about them for? Leave them alone. Like, why aren't you worried about what you got? Go worry about what your, what's on your head. If you don't want to wear a bonnet, that's fine. You don't got to wear a bonnet in public. But if I want to wear a bonnet to the airport or anywhere, I'm going to wear my bonnet because I'm obviously re wearing it for a reason. My hair's not done or it is done and I don't want to get it messed up. Like, the fuck? Like, leave me alone. <laughs> But I just wanted to come on here real quick and just talk about that situation because it's so stupid. Like, so many people are judgmental in this world. And there comes a point where you're, like, where you're telling someone about themselves literally just because you feel bad about yourself or you're telling someone about themselves because you care. Like, you can talk to someone and tell them not to do this or don't do that because you're coming from a standpoint where you care about them and you want them to, like, be safe or some shit or, like, you care about them and you want them to go down the right path or whatever. If you see someone doing something, of course, they're not supposed to be doing. Like, if y'all ever see me out here being a hoe, of course, my friends are going to be like, yo, you need to chill out, da da da, -da. you a hoe, da da da. And of course, I'm going to be like, damn, you kind of right. Exactly. But if I'm out here wearing a bonnet to the airport, my friends are not going to come in and be like, Kayla, why are you wearing your bonnet to the airport? You're only supposed to be, that's like an at home thing. Like, don't you have, don't you want to care about your appearance, how you look outside the house? Um, I care about my appearance, how I look outside the house, and I think my appearance is perfectly fine in this bonnet. Thank you very much. <laughs> like, literally, like, people just need to stop getting into other people's business. Worry about yourself first. And it's so crazy because a lot of people aren't worrying about themselves, and that's why a lot of people's lives are in shambles. Let me shut the fuck up because my life are in, my life's in shambles right now. And at least I can admit that, and I know that. And that's why y'all don't see me in nobody else's business or out here judging nobody else because I'm too busy judging myself and trying to get myself together. I was on the phone with my friend Amina, and she's listening to like me like editing it and all that stuff. And we were talking about how we don't like give a fuck about how we look. As, well, not necessarily don't give a fuck about how we look because we care how we look, but basically saying about how other people give a fuck about how we look. And I was just saying, like, I told her confidence is the most attractive thing ever. Not your clothes. Not what clothes you got on. Not what shoes you got on. Not what designer brand or whatever the fuck you got on. Confidence is the most attractive thing ever. If you have confidence, that is the most sexiest shit ever. At least to me, like. And I feel like everyone thinks that way. Like, if you feel good about yourself, that's all that matters. No matter what anyone else is saying about you or telling you, if you feel good about yourself and you're letting people know that you feel good about yourself, they have no power over you. What power do they hold? They don't hold any power. Exactly. They can't put you down or anything. Nothing they say matters anymore. Because guess what? You don't give a fuck. You know you're the shit. <laughs> But yeah, that's it. Confidence is sexy as fuck. It's the most attractive thing ever. And if you have confidence, if you don't have confidence, keep working on your confidence, baby, because it's coming. And once you get that confidence, ride with it. I don't know about you, got, about you guys, but I believe in good and bad energy. And I believe if you have bad energies around you, that's going to rub off on you. And then you're going to start, start giving off bad energy. But if you have good energies around you, then that's going to start rubbing off on you as well. And you're going to have good energy around you. Like, I was just on Instagram and my friend Mia, hey Mia, if you're listening to this, I saw one of her posts and she was talking about soul ties. The post was talking about soul ties. And in the video, he was talking about how, like, energies rub off on each other, like, have you ever noticed you start hanging around someone a lot and some people start saying you guys start to look alike 
or you guys start sounding alike, stuff like that. And that's true because I remember people used to tell me me and my ex used to look like when we used to hang out like all the time. <laughs> and then you know how like if you're hanging out with a boy or something like that you talking to and you start picking up his lingo or whatever you know stuff shit like little shit like that that make me think like you know you really can't start picking up on people's energies i just wanted to come on here and do that quick little segment i don't know how long this is but yeah i think i'm gonna start doing more short little podcasts like this shit like that like yeah we're gonna call these mini shit talks i guess i don't know but yeah, um, if you want to hear more, then subscribe to this channel. Uh, my Instagram is shithappens.podcast. Um, I think it is. I have bad memory. I told you it's going to be in the description. Please forgive me. But yeah, um, bye. <laughs>